This is the White Tiger Knight YouTube channel, and this is a tutorial on high frequency trading and how it has affected the stock market since its inception. Alright, as you can see here, okay, in the market, this is uh, the SPY over the last 10 years, and you can see mainly look at the volume here and the price action um, in 2007, which is exactly where this cursor is now is when high frequency trading was um, established by the stock exchanges so they could uh, have better bid and ask results over the different exchanges and you can see um, it allowed high frequency trading um, to occur. Most of the volume that you're seeing here is due to the high frequency trading algorithms that actually trade most of the stock and nowadays over 50 percent of our options and stock volume are high frequency trading algorithms basically computer computers trading in the stock market at extremely high frequencies and large amounts of shares trading that's why there's high volumes as you can see here and uh, with high volumes comes high volatility now the whole goal of the uh, HFT inception was because they wanted to uh, shrink the bid and the ask spread um, but thus in limiting volatility and uh, separations between exchanges but in that process they have allowed more volatility to occur through all exchanges and um, these high frequency trading systems actually have caused uh, many of the crashes and kind of pump and dump systems that were in our uh, our uh, stock market today as you can see over the past few years uh, before the crash it was pretty steady until when until about 2007 when they inst established the high frequency trading um, systems and markets uh, and networks basically that control all of the uh, stock exchanges in the country and uh, at that point they basically uh, started becoming really volatile and basically took a dive for the worst um, as you can see the volume increases and so does the volatility if you look here just over the past few years I mean look at the volume is nowhere near the ability it just comes out of nowhere it's just boom it just increases exponentially there um, because of high frequency trading, um, that's basically it. Computers trading over and over and over and over and over and over all day. Um, and that's where all that volume comes in. And, uh, you know, the shares trading hands all throughout the day, back and forth and back and forth. And, uh, you know, that creates more volatility in the market for everyday investors and causes a lot of really hectic scenarios. Um, as you can see here, um, it creates kind of these pump and dump situations or V's and uh, kind of reversions in the market um, and large crashes and large rallies um, basically out of nowhere, back and forth, back and forth. Again, you know, basically at this point it just became really hectic and uh, the HFTs take over and then just dump the market. Um, it happens in a flash crash. It happened here um, over and over. Basically, uh, this market here in the later years has been supported mainly by stimulus efforts to pump it up, but eventually at some point it's going to have to come down, um, at least to the mean or an average at some level that's sustainable. And um, as you can see here, it's just become really volatile ever since those years. We basically, in the, in the almost six or seven or eight years, in the past two years, we've created almost all of the volatility and um, increases in the price in the almost two or three years that we had over the past almost ten. And um, it just becomes really hectic and volatile in the market. Just look at the volume here, it's just massively extravagant compared to what was previously uh, sold, bought and sold before the high frequency trading system was established. And um, while I think it has uh, led to shrunk spreads, it uh, causes more volatility in the market. Now this is just an update on the RSI glitch that I have on the eTrade Pro platform here. Again, I don't own uh, the rights or whatever to eTrade Pro. I just use their platform. And uh, this is some kind of RSI glitch. And you're going to see here that it actually works fairly well at predicting stock price movement. Now, I'm not selling anything. I don't think you should trade on this or anything. Just trade your own risk. This is informational purposes only. But if you look here for a second, you'll see that it signals a slight rise and then a drop towards the end of the day. And that exact same thing happens. Now, just watch the RSI. And you can see as it goes throughout the day, this is going to signal a slight pop and a fall towards the end of the day. Again, this RSI should not be here, you know, watch other videos on the RSI glitch if you don't know, but this RSI is extending here, it shouldn't be doing that, it's the blue on the bottom of the screen. Um, 
the stock price has stopped. It shouldn't actually show any of the RSI movement at all. So there's something going on here. There's some kind of glitch, some kind of problem with the system. Um, it's probably mainly just a glitch, honestly. But uh, who knows? So I'm just going to show this. This is my experience, personal experience only. I want to get the word out there on this. And for anybody who has an eTrade Pro platform, could uh, you know know that this could throw you off. I mean, I wouldn't trade on this necessarily, but as you can see, I'll show you later on that it will pan out in the way pretty much that it describes down at the bottom. <clears throat> now I'm going to place this little uh, trend here, this green marker here, right there at the, where the price action pretty much is around the area there. And now, if you can see, the RSI signals a slight higher level and then a fall. So if you can see where the RSI is, if anyone knows how RSI works, that would signal a slight rise and a fall, and it actually, crazily enough, occurs. So you'll see the future videos coming through here, and again, you know, there's some examples of high-frequency trading that are occurring throughout, uh, and I'll show it with another chart glitch that occurs on the eTrade Pro platform that shows an example of high-frequency trading where a computer algorithm or user will come in and purchase a stock price at a much lower price than what it's trading at and then quickly either sell or uh, just hold it from there and it, I've actually verified that on charts and in the time and sales records where you can look through time and sales and find people that buying at prices that are nowhere near the uh, bid and ask so however that works I mean possibly through options but that's not exactly um, whole numbers or the way options trade per se so I think there's something else going on possibly <clears throat> and again this is just personal experience and observation so uh, you know take it with the grain of salt uh, that should be traded on but as you can see the, uh, the indicators there should not be continuing the RSI is continuing while the stock price is not and there's some kind of glitch occurring within the eTrade Pro platform now, I would actually recommend the eTrade Pro platform for beginner users, just as an easy user interface, but some glitches do occur, and this is why I'm including this. Now, as you can see, what happened? A slight pop, and now falling back down. So almost the exact same thing as you see here in the blue RSI indicator has occurred with the price in the stock market. Again, this printed before the price. So, it's actually somewhat acting as a leading indicator here to price movement. And again, now this is showing a dump in the RSI, which had occurred again, and this is just showing an HFT glitch um, in the eTrade Pro platform where it shows an extremely low dollar amount, an extremely low price, and an extremely high price candle um, in the chart. And you can see it here uh, in the low so if you look at the number here, um, I know it doesn't get it so well exactly, but you can see the low price eventually. I'll, I will zoom in on it and focus in on it so you can see the low price. I'm going to select it with the cross here and it will show what that price candle means. That price candle is basically all the price action between three minute slots, uh, up and down, and the open and close. And it will show on the low of that pr three minute price candle an extreme difference. Uh, and actually kind of a glitch or something going on where it's nowhere near the actual bid and ask in the price range that you know normal shares should and would be trading at so go ahead and watch the low 64 41 65 see it's trading around here 65 70 65 76 it's the lower number here on the low column I'm trying to zoom in there for you but it's trading about 65 75 65 76 Okay, and then a price candle will come up and show an extremely low value here. So 65.70, 64.41. So from 65.62, 64.41. That just doesn't occur. So, um, and you can see it here in the price candle. Uh, and that's just either some kind of glitch in the chart or some kind of crazy trading, uh, trading anomaly. But uh, again, just more glitches in charts and more trading anomalies, more questions. And I don't have all the answers for this, but I just think it's interesting, and that's why I'm going to show it. So, uh, something's going on here. It's showing um, the price action, and I have verified this through time and sales to show that shares actually were purchased and can be purchased at prices lower than the bid and ask at any point, really. Um, and mainly, probably, definitely through 
high frequency trading algorithms. But that can't be confirmed necessarily at this point. All I'm showing is uh, some kind of glitch showing extremely large and HFT price candle glitches. So the RSI continues. We'll see what happens next. I will continue showing uh, more RSI movement uh, throughout the day, but basically, as you can see here, uh, it's pretty much ended, and it ended at a level much lower as it signaled in the future predicting uh, RSI from about an hour ago, or a couple hours ago. So that's the RSI glitch and HFT trading. This is the White Tiger Knight. Watch the channel for uh, all kinds of reviews and stuff. And uh, the White Tiger Knight, signing out.